Hey guys, welcome back to our SAP CAPM tutorial series. In the previous videos, we set up our backend with CAPM, implemented CRUD operations, and integrated a persistent SQLite database. Now it's time to take our project to the next level by adding a front end using SAP Fiery. In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step on how to integrate a Fiery application into our CAPM project using the emda.yaml file. This will allow us to create a user-friendly interface for interacting with our backend services. So let's get started. Before we begin, let's quickly understand why mta.yaml is important. In a multi-target application project, the mta.yaml file defines different modules and how they interact with each other. This is crucial when we integrate a Fiery frontend with our CAPM backend. Now let's move on to creating our Fiery application inside the CAPM project. To add a Fiery application, right click on mda.yml in your CAPM project and select create MDA module from template from the menu. Choose SAP Fiery application as the module type. Here we are going to use the list type. So we will go to the list report page option and select that. Click next. Then select the data source. Here we are going to use the CAPM data services. So click on local CAP project. There you will get the option to select the project. Here as default we are using CAP01 and click on next. Here leave books as the main entity since we only have that one. Provide the module name and other required details. After providing the necessary details, click on next to give the deployment options. Leave the deployment configuration as Cloud Foundry only. So if needed we can use it for later leave this as it is and click on finish this will create the necessary files and folders for our fiery application inside the capm project as you can see that a new folder bookshop is generated inside our app folder in the page map section, we can see how the generated Fiery app pages are connected to each other. Once the Fiery application is ready, it's time to run our project. Use the command CDS watch to start the application. When coming to the front end welcome screen, you can find our application bookshop is listed there. Click on the application to open and see the working of the newly created application. Click on go to list all the data from the backend. By default, this Fiery app have a list page and an object page which is created with annotation.cds file code. If you click on any of the list item, it will take you to the object page which is having the details of this particular item. Right now we don't have much details of the item which I selected since we have selected the item that was created as dummy data at the beginning. If you selected any item which has been created through post method then it will list out the details of the selected item in object page. If you want to see the code of the Fiery application then go to the project folder and open annotation.cds to see the generated code. This is another way of creating simple Fiery app. What we have studied in the Fiery tutorials which I have posted earlier is MVC model that can even create complicated Fiery apps. If you open the bookshop folder then you cannot find any model view or controller since this kind of app does not have anything like that. So let's create another application which have model view and controller. For that use the same method you used to create this Fiery application but choose the basic template.
After creating the new Fiery app with basic template, restart the server using cdswatch command to see the new application in the output window. Now go and refresh the page to see the output. If you go back and refresh, you can see two applications are listed and one is our newly created application with basic template which is having nothing except the header part. Now let's go and check the folder structure whether we have this model view controller part in our folder or not. If you open the web app folder here, you can see model view and controller folder is listed here so that you can create your custom application. For testing the proper working of our custom application, open the view folder and try to add some edits like text. Let's add text is equal to hello world here. Now go and refresh the page to see the change. When the page is loaded, you can see the hello world is reflected here. Congratulations, you have successfully integrated a SAP Fiery application into your CAPM project. Now we have connected fully functional front end to our back end services, providing a seamless user experience. In the next part of this series, we will explore additional features such as CRUD operations through Fiery. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below with any questions. See you in the next video.